Straight Pizzy, 80 side, the Navy side, and I'm spinning blocks with P Films. <laughs> We slow killers, man. Uh -huh. Rip removers, man. Hey, you. I even got a crip on the knuckles, so when I punch a nigga in the face, he can see it. It's what we doing, man. It's how we rolling, man. You heard? Pull up at your own risk, you are. Hey, Having a hood day, nice vibes, you heard? Like anybody can come, as long as you're not the option, you know what I'm saying? Like you good though. <laughs> I was cracking this Japan, it gave Mr. A times 10, you heard? I'm from Belmont, but we in Monterey right now. This it's the home of the Lokes, the Crumps, you know? Yeah. yeah, we out here. You know, I've been, I've been cripping for you know, over 15 years, you feel me? Like, you know, last year, I got shot right, right here in this corner over there. Got shot in the head three times in the arm. I was, I was shot, like, four years prior to that, right up the block. Like, this is really gangland over here, but we hold it down. This hood, and Hughes, you know, 30s is up the block. We, we kind of share a hood, you feel me? We all grew up together. Everything around us, you know, was blood back in the day, you feel me? But, you know, as time went along, you know, Crip got bigger. But we always been Crip over here. It's always been Crip over here. You know, we started rapping. My brother Trey Pizzy, he was the, really the first one started rapping. Then me and my, um, my cousin AR, we just jumped on his wave because Pizzy went to the army. We jumped on his wave. We started getting a name for ourselves. And now we fell back. You know, I had kids, and so I'm focused on my kids. And but our little homies is, is taking over the rap scene right now. Juan Bills, C Blue, they all out here doing their thing, and I just respect it. You feel me? But growing up, it was hard. It was, it was real hard cripping, but you know, that's fun to us. You feel me? But, now I'm in, you know, I'm in tune with my kids and all and all that. So you know, I, I ain't fall back, but you know, it, it's it's always gonna be crip, you feel me? But I grew up as a man and all that. I don't really chill like that, but I'm out here because it's hood day. It's, it's, it's hood day. I can't miss this. But yeah, I do everything for my kids, man. But and and every everybody over here is fathers. We don't jack. We don't jack dead beats over here. Yo, what's cracking, low? Are you? Gangland, listen, you rocking with the 80 side cuz, neighborhood rock gang, Crip cuz, 386 cuz, Rolando gang, you heard. Welcome to Monterey Projects. Something like that, that's what we on cuz, you heard. Shout, shout, shout out, cuz. I don't know the homies are, cuz. Neighborhood roller, 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 neighborhood shit. They got a low, they got a low. Big Slow, it's our neighborhood rock gang crib. It's being low, it's our neighborhood rock gang crib. Yeah, low, neighborhood rock gang crib, you heard? Oh, low, rock gang crib, neighborhood. There's trips everywhere now. You know say you got all the homies here, cuz, from the original, cuz, from the old school, when it might be a, not even a whole crib block, a building, a crib building. You know what I mean? Going to the local store, it was it was up immediately, cuz had a everything, cuz if mommy sent you to go get some bread, you had to bring that with you. To, you know what I'm saying? Now we own every store on the strip. I mean, not own, but that's crib shit. Cause I go in any store now and be like, with a blue flag, cuz I'm gonna get this and I come back and pay you later. They know, they know. You know what I mean, but it took a while to get there, cuz you know what I'm saying? That's how the 
the, the ops had it back then. They had that. They had it like that. That's old for that though. What's up, cuz? Neighbor. Eastside Rock Gang. Oh, Grip up. Grip up. Don't slip up, nigga. All the gang, bro. It's all about love, cuz. We outside, cuz. Fuck, they got it going on over here, cuz. You heard? Eastside Neighborhood Rock Gang Crip, cuz. Original Brim Killer, cuz. New York Crip, cuz. You see that? Yep. 80 yeah, side bang it, cuz. Muck to the red, Q to the blade. Q to the blue. Shut that shit out, cuz. Gang, like you show that, cuz. What's up? What's the word, man? Crip shit, nigga. Crip shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All type of shit, cuz you heard? 380 shit going oh, crazy. Uh -huh. You should show them all. You show them all like I saw yeah. the cast, bro. Yeah. Neighbor Crip shit. Come on, man. This shit oh, sanction. This shit sanction for life, nigga. Dumb you so bad, cuz. I can't hold on to that. I can't hang it, nigga. I can't hang it, nigga. Hold on. 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 Heavy man, this is like our cousins from one side to another side. All problems, they problems, vice versa, nigga. Like these really our brothers. Angel, all P Primo, all P Cranny. Shout out my son 40. Like if my son 40 was out here, he'll tell you stories. Like I remember walking around with him when I was younger, and he'll be like, Yo, cuz, step on my chucks, cuz, step on my chucks. And I used to wonder why cuz wanted dirty chucks all the time. You get what I mean? I'm guessing it's just some. Some old crypt shit, you heard? I remember when we was young growing up, niggas used to buy the blue lighters, and all the older homeboys used to like bite the red shit off. Like, like everything around here, as y'all can see, always been like super crook. You get what I mean? Like, it's been the opposite of the rest of New York. The opposite of the rest of, you get what I mean? Like, when we call it the crunks, it's for a real reason. You get what I mean? Cause that's what it feel like. You get what I mean? You feel like you in little LA out here. You get what I mean? RP Primo, RP Cranny, like, Without them, I wouldn't be doing this shit. You get what I mean? Like, you know, like how Pan said, he saw me since Jay High, but he could tell you himself since Jay High niggas was crippin'. You get what I mean? It's not like these other niggas that start crippin' at like 28 years old, 30 years old. You didn't get to experience this shit as a kid. You didn't get to experience what it was like going to school and you outnumbered. You don't know what it's like going to the bookings or whatever the case is and you outnumbered. You know, a lot of people, when they was telling y'all, yo, crippin' is easy now and all that, it's for a reason, not just a saying, like, you know, I grew up, when I was a kid, it was, niggas was color banging. you get what I mean? Now you got the choice, now niggas got blood homies, now it, at a certain time, it wasn't like that, you get what I mean? Like, and it, it's, it's crazy, like, how, how shit changed, it's crazy how the difference in all this shit, too, you know? Like, a lot of people really had this shit easy, a lot of people be super crips in their music, but only been cripping like two years, you know? Like, you can see my baby pictures. You see me, like, flagging it. P, you, you've seen it, bro, you get what I mean? So it's just like, but as you can see, as we was talking earlier, how you gonna walk out these buildings or walk from Hughes or walk from any of these blocks and not be this? Not be what you see, you feel me? These are the niggas that's teaching you how to play board. The niggas that's teaching you how to talk to girls. The niggas, you get what I mean? So at the end of the day, we a product of our environment. But every once in a while, you got some of us that is trying to change the narrative. And I'm glad we having this talk, because in my interview, I said I'm trying to change that narrative. But I'm glad you can see that other people's trying too. You get what I mean? It ain't just me. And we going through that. Well, First, second generation, we out here. Growing up out here was, you know, regular childhood shit, rather than New York City shit. Um, I got locked up when I was like 12, so I miss a lot of my childhood, so when I got locked up at 12, I think I got out like 13, 14, then I got violated again, went back, so I was like 15, came home, 
Um, went to Job Corps, got my GED. Uh, went to college. Uh, after college, was out here for a little bit. Went to the Army. Then I seen my brothers was rapping. I'm like, yo, that. And it's in the middle of war. Like, I'm in war. I'm in Iraq. I'm watching their videos on World, so I'm like, yo, y'all hitting, but y'all niggas look dirty. You know what I'm saying? We gotta clean this shit up. We gotta come back. We gotta do this shit right. So I came home um, and we turned the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I uh, showed niggas how to do it, and now we are where we are now. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have the regular hood story because I ain't the regular hood nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got, I got, a, I got a chance to explore the world. You know what I'm saying? I got a chance to see things. A lot of niggas don't get a chance to see things. So that's what, what I'm, I'm trying to bring back now. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, um, giving niggas opportunity to see more than this shit. So when I was rapping, I was taking niggas to Texas with me. Wherever we had a show at, you know what I'm saying? I was taking the whole hood with me. Whoever was with me, we was gone. We was gonna figure it out. So I might be sick, but I, like, I got a pride issue. So I used to watch the commercials. They'd be like, yo, you army strong and shit like that. And I'm like, nigga. They, they had a bunch of white niggas on there doing crazy shit. I'm like, nigga, these niggas don't go through half this shit we go through. So I'm gonna see if I could do it. And when I went in there, I scored so high on my ASVAB, they wanted me to do military intelligence. And when I told them niggas, I wanted to, nah, I was like, I wanna do the shit I see on TV. And they like, like what? You know what I'm saying? That's like usually the, the, the stupid niggas do. Like, it ain't even no niggas in that field. Like if you go, and interview army niggas, they not doing infantry, they not doing shit like that, they doing like supply. So when I said I wanted to do that, they looked at me like I was crazy. I'm like, yeah, I wanna do that shit. And when I did that shit, to me it was just like a game. It was just like, I'm used to getting shot at. You know what I'm saying? Like, now nah, let, let me get paid for this shit. I, I looked at it like a game, that's how I survived. I'm thinking like, I'm not looking at it like it's life or death. I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about it like it's a game. That's how I really took it, all jokes aside, that's what kept me alive. If I, I think if I really tapped into that shit and took it seriously, I probably would have died. But I ain't take it that serious, and um, I just felt like it, it, it was necessary. Because I never seen nobody, you know what I'm saying, where I'm from, do nothing like that. So I'm, I'm just like that. I'm random. I see some shit, I'm like, yo, I'm going to do that. And niggas would be like, yo, what? And I just go do it. Somebody got to jump over the hill to show niggas that it's cool over here. And after that, one of my homies joined the army, you know what I'm saying? So you like, when you do certain things, you open up certain doors for niggas, you open up niggas' minds to, to things that's beyond here. And that's that's all I'm here to do. It's just, nigga, this ain't it. We got more, you know what I mean? 80, you see what the is going on? 80. Sa, Sa, look, Q Flock, follow me on everything Q underscore flocker 80 you feel me we going crazy instagram everything we going crazy yes, youtube sir. everything we yes, going sir. crazy music i'm shooting the video right now you feel me just drop the video today everybody tune in if y'all tune in then y'all know what the is going on i love y'all hey boy see and that's exactly what i do shit for you know what i'm saying because if they ain't see a nigga do it or if they ain't see somebody close to them do it they wouldn't even think it's possible you know what i'm saying so it's just like I don't, I don't want to be a rapper, bro. I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be none of that shit. I just want to show niggas that the sky's the limit. Like, this ain't all we subjected to. What you see ain't what you get. What you want is what you get. So you got to want something more. Mm -hmm. That's all. What I told you, man, you gonna make, you gonna get next? You done up now. I got a really, there you go. There you go. What's going on? Yeah, yeah get, get back on that one. All right. Stop playing. Huh? Oh, yeah, the 80 yeah, crazy. This the, this the, this Don't put this my face on there. This the feds is watching. They're going to be like, how you got that? Like, this is the 100 rack nigga. This is 100 bands on his neck. It's going up. All the way. Up. All the way. It's going up. All the way to the top. All the way. Do the chain, too. Do the chain too, do the tennis. Is you shitting me? I got another one out here too. When that come around, I call you, I call you. <laughs> even, the, even the pinky races out here, you know We do this. Son, bro, a hood day, 80 hog. We all saw it, so it's all our CD, bro. I've been cooked since day one, bro. Since day one, I've been cooked. 
I'm Crip Soup, and they really all would have seen you If you're not Crip, don't turn Crip. If you're already Crip, just keep banging, y'all. That shit is a persona, bro. That shit is just like, like the movies and whatever niggas is seeing, whatever niggas is going up seeing, bro. That shit is not it, bro. Like, it's not gonna have your back to the day you die. You go to jail, niggas gonna like, fuck your bitch. You die, niggas gonna like, fuck your bitch. You got some money, niggas are still it. Your man's a backdoor you for 200. Bro, this shit is crazy, bro. I suggest you just stay in your own lane, stay out of this shit. Be you, bro. Don't be no fuck. Be you. I'm Ben was gonna be crook. Like, I wanted to do that shit since I was a baby. You feel me? Like, my whole family crook. I mean, positive is, like, I can say this shit is a brotherhood, bro. When you win it, like, nobody gonna, like, nobody make you do nothing you don't wanna do. It's like, just a family, bro. Like, protecting the hood, bro. I said, watching out for your neighbors, making sure you open the door for the ladies, help with our bags, which is, you know, community revolution and progress, bro. We're helping the community, I said. That's the positive, bro. Uh -huh. It's Boogie Logan here, Nate Boogie. 80s side, rock ain't banging, nigga. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna put a date uh -huh. on it. I'm 95, 96. Mm. Back then, it wasn't a lot of us. If I walked the streets, 80% of the time, I was alone. If I was walking around anybody, I was with family. And so I had he to met us now, he never alone. This is my family now, and this is what it is. But, like I said, back when I started, it wasn't a lot of Crips. And to speak on that, a lot of us was different sets, but we definitely respected each other. Structure and responsibility as a gangbanger, people think it's all bad, but a lot of these people here, when I say we lean on each other, that's what it is. He's down, I'm up, we halfway through this. We're going to get to the end. It's my family. These, these, these people here mean more to me than anything y'all can know. Just because it's a street gang, don't mean that we live in the streets. We don't move unless you move on us. Let, let's get that aspect clear. There's a lot of misconstruities that we just out here running the streets, actively doing things that's incorrect. We have morals, we have codes, we have things that we live by. There has to be a structure here. There has to be a structure. If there's no structure, then we wouldn't be able to see here. Niggas got cut in the face. That's a product of the environment. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Talk this shit. It's offense. It ain't about a move on us and, and then we move on you. Not to dismay what what the what, what the big homeboy talking about. You get what I'm saying? But more and above is it's what you bring in towards the development. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You violate, you, 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 yeah, you step on toes, or you're doing something that's out of ordinary, you're doing something out of conduct and things of that nature, that niggas is speaking on that, niggas is moving on that, niggas is doing that. Bigger than that's the just, ain't nobody Rolling bigger than the program at all. Rolling at all. Shit. Never been, never Rolling. will. You get what I'm saying? But more than above, I want you to situation. understand, he said offense. That not for protection. Team no lacking. Not team for protection. No it started off as see safe, cuz. Now we gotta stay dangerous stay because dangerous. they on top of us. Wow. Yo, and as far as like cripping these days, like you said, it's it's a lot easier. A like lot the of homie space at when we was doing it back then, as soon as we step off our block, we was getting this shit. God. Coming God. home with black eyes and all that. Numbers ain't never been on that Yo, side. Our mother's him. crying, we Hold laughing. On, let's speak in unison. Right. 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 Our mother's crying, we laughing. Like, yo, we built for this shit. Like, Mama, I'm going to do, I'm and, do it again and, tomorrow. Hold on. Right. And just a simple squad. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Like they told me squabble. I had a black eye. I said, no, mine's black and blue. It's black and blue. Don't take it away I from me. My eye black trying to cover no, it up. My eye black and blue. Like you fucking a what? Don't take that, 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 that away from me. <laughs> Don't take that away from me. Nigga, community revolutionary in progress. Nigga, that's what we stand for. You feel me? That's what we stand for. If it ain't community revolutionary in progress, it ain't nothing. We move militant before any neighborhood prison. Yeah, you smoke, and when the train was at the shit, you was ever a pro. I ain't pulling no fingers, cause you know who you are. You take this five motherfuckers, talking loud like you are. Fuck all y'all niggas, I'm a beat off killer. Shots out of the Atlantis and the N hood niggas. Troll dogs with the eagle eyes, east side wildest case. Let's stop that, cause the Crips is much more. Yeah, my stop is by SFPK all day. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.